Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about Star Wars Bad Batch Season 2 Episode 5 called Entomb. I like this episode, it was really good, good to see some more things going on with the bat, the gang and Fee. So we're going to see episode with Fee this time, more Fee, as we know she's a pirate and you know what's the word she was calling herself, like, like trying to save all the stuff and like from treasure and stuff like that. I don't know what the term she used, but so we pick up the episode where we see a wrecker and Omega picking up like junk and looking for supplies. So they go back to Sid's shop or bar, excuse me, Sid's bar feeds there. So they're going through the stuff. Like it's basically for a tech he doesn't need something new for it. And they notice this thing, this this thing, it looks like coordinates, but it turns out to be a compass. So he believes it's treasure, so they believe it's treasure. She believes it's treasure at the time. Calder Trini, Trini, Trini system. That's what it's on. And they believe it's there's treasure there, so they said, why not go up? But way before that, she was telling these stories to these two other the patrons that it's the story keeps changing all the time. And these two guys are believing every time. So she's telling the story about how she found this treasure and stuff. So they give the compass. So they decide to go to this planet. And so they land on the planet. There's nothing there. It's all desolate. There's some tree light. But there's nothing there. It's all gray and stuff. So the compass activates on its own. And they go to it. There's a door there covered with rocks. They move the rocks. She believes it's Sakana. Which is a ancient legend of pirate treasure supposedly that no one can ever find so she believes it's there so they go in how those traps they get the gang gets separate uh echo wrecker and it's tech got to go find another way around they get attacked by the bee they have bees that's been basically living there on that planet had burrow through ways so they separate so they have to use the uh uh, compass to see through, get the correct tether right. So they do. They find this wooden block type thing, but it's glowing. So they pull it out and it activates this machine. What they're inside is a big machine. It's been held there for a long time. It's been ancient. So it's many, many, many years ago. I don't know who had it or whatever. So basically, it's activated. It's waking up. It destroys everything. It's basically destroying almost everything. It's like it's like a big big blast shot coming out of its mouth. So they the game has to go back and shut it off. So they regroup and they do get to put the block back and shut it down. So it basically destroys it before it destroys it. So there's no treasure on the island or anything like that. So they did manage to destroy it. So I don't know if that's gonna draw attention to some nearby people or whoever is nearby, but they did make it out alive. They did save Hunter from falling to his death. He did use a grapple hook to make sure they pull him out. But it was really interesting. Pretty cool to see how they do it. I liked how they use a wave font, like the compass, to see what they're doing. Kind of reminds me of like an Ethan Jones. Kind of also reminds me of uh, uh, Uncharted. You know, you use some stuff to find like solid and puzzle. Pretty cool stuff. It's pretty cool. No treasure. They did stop and they leave playing the how they lost their drug mail, but how the mail has its back of storage inside the ship, so they're going back away. So it was a pretty nice little episode. I give it eight out of nine. So they're just looking for treasure, trying to get away from, you know, uh, trying to get some more mice so they can survive on it. Basically, I think if you're looking for how the season's pointing out to so far in these five episodes, it seems like the whole game, it's, they're set up the story where the badge is only originally not going to work for Sid. Sid's going to be by her back to her on her own. And they're going to be on the, and the badge is going to be on the, uh, they're going to have their own way of surviving. So like, they're not going to have their own at Sid and Jobs and working with Fee. So really interesting to see how this story turns out. It was a nice little episode looking for treasure, but it turns out to be something else. It's very ancient, so I don't know. Because it kind of reminds you of that, like the Zillow Beast, but it's not like the Zillow, but it's very slow, it's very destructible, but it's something that's very ancient, it's way before the, it's even, it's a cheap fee set, it's even past the Jedi, so I really dig the episode, I really enjoyed it, just can't wait to see more. 
Bad Batch when it comes out. There's more episodes coming out, so we'll have to wait and see what the rest is going to be like. The series, season two is going to be like. I'm looking forward to it. But anyway, very good episode. Very good episode. Anyway, if you like my review and breakdown episode five of the Bad Batch, please leave a like. Please comment and also please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. I thank all my subscribers for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and viewing. Without you, I wouldn't be doing these. So thank you, everybody. I hope you have a safe and wonderful Wednesday. And I will see you next. Well, excuse me. Not Wednesday. Thursday. Let me get it right. Thursday. Throwback Thursday. <laughs> Thursday. So take care. Stay safe. Stay humble. And be a blessing.